My general philosophy about facial fillers and injectables is a conservative one. We start out slow with the patients and we can always add more. We do not espouse the ideas of placing so much in that everybody else knows that you've had something done. We also pride ourselves on trying to reduce any post-operative bruising in their face so that we can reduce the noticeability post-procedure. Many patients don't know that these are actually considered injectable implants. And since we take our uh, safety precautions exceedingly seriously. We want to make sure that the patients have a wonderful experience from having their injectables and enjoy having them rather than having to deal with any kind of complications thereafter. Important to us is making sure that we clean the skin effectively so that there is a low risk of infection. Also, there are many blood vessels deep in the face that we have to avoid and make sure that these injectable implants do not compress or in worst case scenarios, actually get injected into the blood vessel. We take every precaution that we can to try to avoid this from happening. However, there is always the risk of this occurring. We have not had any complications from intravascular or vascular compromise, which means compressing or plugging up a blood vessel from our injectables. We also do not know of any patients that have had an infection from our injectable program.